Hello, hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about the liquid liquid extraction. So, what is meant by liquid liquid extraction means in the liquid liquid extraction, so one liquid contain a mixture of components that is called as liquid mixture. So, in this liquid mixture, we are having more than one component. So from this we have to isolate or we have to extract a single component by using another liquid. See is called as liquid liquid extraction means separation of a component from a liquid by using another liquid is called as liquid liquid extraction. In this liquid liquid extraction we are using two liquids. These two liquids are immiscible liquids. These two are immiscible with each other and the liquid liquid extraction mainly based on the relative solubility of the component. The component will be dissolved in the second solvent or second liquid. So then only the component will be separated from the first liquid to second liquid. So that's why the separation mainly depending upon the relative solubility of the component. So in this the two solvents are immiscible liquids. So that's why one is the aqueous solvent and another one is the organic solvent. In liquid liquid extraction technique, a solution is transformed from one liquid phase to another liquid phase. So the liquid phase or the solvent which containing a mixture of components is called as feed. From this feed, we have to extract the a single component or desired solute by using another solvent this is called as extracting solvent or extractor. So in this diagram once you see here we are having two solvents are there. So this is the one solvent and this is the second solvent. So in this one solvent which is having the organic compounds present in the water. So these are the organic compounds which are present in the water. The organic compounds are most case non-polar in nature the water is polar in nature nothing but aqueous phase. So we have to separate this organic compounds from this water. For that purpose I have added the one solution solvent that is called as organic solvent. This is act as an extractor and this is your feed. So when you mix this together so that time the component will be distributed between these two solvents and based on its solubility as the organic sol compounds are soluble in organic solvents. So that time what happened? The organic compounds are enter into the your organic solvent. So means we are separating the organic compounds. Then you can separate this water and the organic phase individually by using separating funnel. So this is the I'll definition how the liquid liquid extraction is performing. So the principle mainly depends upon the, the partition coefficient or distribution coefficient of your solute or component. The partition coefficient or diffusion coefficient or distribution coefficient is defined as the, the portion of the drug or the portion of the solute present in the organic aqueous phase by organic phase the ratio of the component present between the two immiscible liquids is called as partition coefficient. So in this first the mixture containing the solutes dissolve in the one solvent. So the mixture is present in the one solvent or liquid that is called as feed. Now this feed solution or fluid solvent is they come into contact with the another solvent. This is called as extracting solvent which both are immiscible. So now when they are counter, when we are mixing these two solvents, the solute distribute the components distribute themselves between the two phases and based on their respective solubility, the component will be entered into the uh, respective solvents. So in this way, the component or the solute will be separated or extracted. So the distribution or partition of the component will is affected by so many factors such as chemical nature of the solute, polarity of the solvent and the temperature. So once you see in this diagram, so I have taken one container. In this container, I have taken the 
one so called solvent that is called a carrier solvent why we are calling this carrier solvent means in this carrier solvent only the solute to be separated is present so i am represented with a a plus b the b is the your solute and a is the your solvent so i have to separate this b from the a solvent so for that purpose i have added another solvent that is c is called as extractive solvent so when we mix together and we are mixing by using some glass rod any other mixture nothing but agitation so that time these three are mixed together during the mixing the component or the solute will be distributed or partition between the two solvents and then it will be separated so that compound to be separated is entered into the your solvent c nothing but extracting solvent so that's why the we are we are written as b plus c here and the remaining solvent the feed solvent which is called as raffinate so already the desired compound is separated from the your feed solvent after that it is called as raffinate and this is the another diagram how the liquid liquid extraction is performing and how the separation will be happen so this is the your extracting solvent so i am writing as light phase and this is your feed solution so the desired components are present so when we mix this together so that time what happen the desired component is entered into the your light phase or extracting solvent so this is your extracting solvent we are going to extract and the remaining solution uh, containing the another components which we are not separating that is called as raffinate so we are representing with the it non extracted solute and the extracted solute is called extract so mainly it will be depending upon the partition or distribution of the solute between the two immiscible phases nothing but organic phase and aqueous phase the distribution coefficient is rep of a solute is represented with the k the k is nothing but the concentration of compound or solute in the extracting solvent by the concentration of this solvent in the raffinate means the concentration of your solute in the extracting solvent by your raffinate so this is the principle involved in the your liquid liquid extraction technique the efficiency of at what extent the liquid liquid extraction is happening efficiently is mainly depending on the so many factors so the factors include choice of the solvent solvent solute interaction temperature and ph so the selection of solvent is mainly important why because the whatever the solute will be there it should be distributed and it should be dissolved in the selected solvent so that's why the selection of solvent mainly depending upon the solubility of your compound so the selection of solvent directly affect the solubility and distribution of solute between the two phases and solvent solute interaction so compulsory the solute and the solvent should be interact so to the these interaction mainly influence the your solubility if those are not interacting with each other means the solubility is not there in between your solute and your solvent so compulsory we have to select a solvent in such a way that it should be interact with your solute and the temperature at what temperature we are doing liquid liquid extraction is also important this temperature will be affect the your solubility and kinetic properties of the extraction as the temperature increases the solubility of the solute will be increases so the ph especially in case of the, the compounds which are acidic in nature and basic in nature so these compounds will be undergo these type of solutes will be undergo ionization so based on the ionization the ph will be in will be changes so that's why if the uh, these ionization directly affect the solubility and partition of your solute in the different solvents so that's why we have to 
adjust optimize ph in a such a way to get a good partition or solubility of the solute between the two immiscible phases so these are the different factors apart from this we are having one three more